What is something that you hate about Bermuda? Besides the obvious stuff. I hate when people's driving slow just because you're making time. Like they've really got to do the speed limit. Yeah, that's what I hate. Bermuda speed limit. You can't do 35 miles an hour. It's impossible. First things first. We repping the sixes during the playoffs this year, so gotta gear up. All right, so obviously I've been failing pretty hard at keeping this upload schedule. So before I go another month without uploading a video, I'm gonna share one of my favorite hobbies with you, complaining. If you really know me, then you know that I'm not a YouTuber. I am an internet troll that likes to air his grievances in public. I go by the three C's, complain, critique, and criticize. And in this old video, I'm going over the six things that I hate about living in Bermuda. The rules are, number one, no low hanging fruit. Like we all know that Bermuda is expensive, so no need to touch on that right now. We'll leave that for another time. And rule number two, I will not be discussing the government or politics. I try to keep this channel politics free. I also try to keep these videos about five to 10 minutes. And if we're going to talk about Bermuda politics, I'm going to need hours. So here are the six things that I hate about living in Bermuda. Number one, you cannot find a good gym. No, I'm a gym rat. Look at these guns. So this one is very important to me. It is impossible to find a really good gym in Bermuda. And let me explain what I mean by that. When I say a really good gym, I mean a gym that has modern equipment and facilities, is reasonably priced, and is convenient, like good location, not too crowded, etc. The problem is that in Bermuda, you gotta pick two of the three. That's the most you'll get. My gym, for example, it's pretty cheap as far as far as Bermuda prices go and it's barely two minutes from my house so it's pretty convenient however the equipment <laughs> is at least from the 70s maybe some pieces from the 80s but and the only amenities that it has is like a bathroom that's it another example is courthouse in Hamilton they have two convenient locations right in Hamilton the equipment is stellar it's a very modern gym but the price for a single adult is gonna cost you over $200 so in Bermuda, you gotta pick your battles, like with everything. Number two, someone is always watching. You can't go anywhere in Bermuda without somebody recognizing. It's a love-hate thing because sometimes it's nice being in a small community where everybody knows your name. But other times, I wish that life was like an internet browser and you could just switch on incognito mode because sometimes you just wanna disappear. And in Bermuda, you can't do that. Limited employment options. Bermuda's two main industries are international business and tourism. The largest single employer is the government. So if you have any interest that can't be supported by one of those three sectors, you're either gonna be completely out of luck or fighting for one of a small handful of very niche positions. It's not anyone's fault because unfortunately Bermuda's just too small to support much else. But I hate it anyway because my lumberjack career was dead before it even got started. Horses on the railway trails. I love walking and running on Bermuda's railway trails. I posted a small virtual tour on the trail near my house in a previous video. You should go check that out. The trails are great because the scenery is amazing and it's a great alternative to Bermuda's narrow roads. But there's one thing that always ruins it for me. People riding these big, giant, scary horses. They bring horses on the trail and they take up all the space and they poop all over the place. Like, I get it. It's not many places to go with a horse, but that doesn't make it any less annoying when you're trying to take a nice calm walk and then all of a sudden you got this big giant one ton beast in your face that could kill you with one swift kick to the head. If you can't tell, I don't like horses. They're very scary. Hold on, hold on. Someone's calling. Hello. Hey Michelle, what do you hate about living in Bermuda? I hate the dogs that are running loose on my street. In packs in the morning when I'm trying to take my dog for a walk. Also, public transportation sucks. Public transportation. Bermuda has one of the worst public transportation systems in any modern country I've ever been to. Do not take the bus. Last week, my husband and I had the pleasure of taking a cruise from the US to Bermuda, where we were docked for a 24 hour period. I decided that the best way to get to it all would be by public bus. So upon arriving at the dockyard, we immediately went to the visitor's center to purchase our tickets for the day. There began the first of many problems. 
There are three employees working, servicing several thousand people coming off of two different cruise ships. Not very well thought out. Many, many people were waiting, and many, many people got onto that bus. We were packed in there like sardines. I know that Bermuda is not a third world country, but it sure felt like it riding that bus. And it's fascinating because our public transportation board has a multi-million dollar budget, hundreds of employees, and they only need to cover a 21 square mile area. It should be perfect, yet they remain unreliable. Buses and ferries are often late and sometimes don't show up at all. When they do show up, most of the drivers are rude and entitled. Wildcat strikes are coming, so service might be suspended for multiple days without any warning. I wish we had a public transportation system that was worth the money that we spend on it, but we don't. And I'm not a person that enjoys driving around. I'd rather just take the bus, but it's too unreliable and too inconvenient. The bus schedule and the available routes haven't been updated in decades. You still can't get a bus home after midnight and the entire system breaks down every summer in the height of the tourist season when there's too many people on the island. It's ridiculous and I hate it. The Corporation of Hamilton's War on Parking. The city of Hamilton is managed by an independent municipality called the Corporation of Hamilton. They handle things like garbage collection, street sweeping, parks and maintenance, those sorts of things, collecting taxes, blah, blah, blah. And recently, they've entered, entered into a big legal battle to determine whether they remain independent or become an extension of the government. I fully support their efforts to remain independent for several reasons that go beyond the scope of this video. But supporting the corporation is becoming increasingly difficult because they are pissing me off. Now, I must admit, the corporations had some good ideas lately, like their food concessions program that allows winning vendors to set up at a given location in the city. You might see some of those trucks around. That's what that is. On the other hand, other ideas like their war on convenient parking is just making me angry. Look at what they've done to Reed Street. They've removed about half the free parking and replaced it with benches, which are almost exclusively used by vagrants and beggars, while potential customers are being forced to pay for parking on the outskirts of the city. I let them know what I think and they have yet to reply. Cowards. So there you go. Those are the six things that I hate about living in Bermuda. There are lots of people watching my channel that are preparing to come to Bermuda, so leave a comment below. Let, give them a heads up. Like, let them know what to look out for when they get here. Something they don't advertise in those fancy commercials that the BTA keeps putting out there. And if you enjoyed this video, remember to hit the like and the subscribe button. You know, we're almost at 2,000 subs. 2,000 subs. Thanks for the support. And uh, before I go, one thing. Look at this awesome uh, rug. If you don't know, this is the Wall Street Bets kid. There's a Bermudian lady. I'll put her details in the video. OG the rug plug. Uh, I com got it commissioned a long time ago. It took a while to get it done, but it was perfect. And if you want anything similar done, she's very talented and I recommend her highly. But again, thanks for watching the video. Thanks for the support. And I'll try to make sure the next video isn't two months away. <laughs> thanks for watching. Bye.